In this video, you will learn what happens when a plant cell is exposed to different surrounding conditions with respect to concentration. First, let's understand what are the different types of solution to which we are going to expose our plant cell. The contribution of water in the cell cytoplasm, which has many different types of substances present in it, is slightly more than 90%. So the cytoplasm itself is a solution. Let's assume the overall concentration of the cytoplasm is 1 molar. Now compared with the cell concentration, if a solution has relatively less concentration, then it is called a hypotonic solution. If the concentration of the solution is same as that of the cell concentration, then it is called an isotonic solution. And if the concentration of solution is relatively higher than the cell concentration, then it is called a hypertonic solution. Having cleared the types of solution, let's first place the plant cell in a hypotonic solution and see what happens. The water will start to move inside the cell as the osmotic pressure of the cell is higher than the solution. So if you want to learn more about the concept of osmotic pressure, I have made a separate video on it. As the water moves inside the cell, the volume of its protoplast increases. Due to this increase in volume, the protoplast exerts a pressure on the cell wall in outward direction. This pressure exerted on the cell wall is called Tucker pressure. The Tucker pressure pushes the cell wall in outward direction and as a result, the plant cell starts to swell up as the water keeps entering. But this can't continue forever as the cell wall is not very flexible. There comes a time when the cell volume reaches its maximum capacity and no more water can enter inside it. This cell is now called a turgid cell. Here, the value of Tucker pressure becomes equal to osmotic pressure. Now if we place the plant cell in an isotonic solution, there will be no change in the volume of the cell as the osmotic pressure of both cell and the solution is same. So the net exchange of water between cell and the solution will be zero. Placing the cell in an hypertonic solution, the cell starts to lose water as the osmotic pressure of the solution is higher than that of the cell. Due to decrease in cell volume, the Tucker pressure exerted on the cell wall decreases continuously and at a time it reaches zero. The cell which has no Tucker pressure on its cell wall is called a flaccid cell. But the water loss doesn't stop and the cell loses more water due to which the protoplasts start detaching from the cell wall. This process of detachment of protoplast from the cell wall is called plasmolysis. As the protoplast starts detaching, the space between the cell wall and the cell membrane is filled by the external hypertonic solution. That is all for this video. 